Fora TV. The world is thinking. Now I'm going to go back a little bit um, in terms of looking at low pressure discharge light sources, again, fluorescent light, lighting systems. Um, there was a lot of work done by, by this individual, Heinrich Geisler, looking at low pressure discharge light sources, but predominantly as an art form. He wasn't doing it pursuing um, a need in terms of uh, looking at practical use of this. What he was doing was exploring the use of small discharge light sources as an art form and was developing very complicated um, um, low pressure discharge light sources as an art form. And these were coiled pieces of glass filled with different types of gases uh, that glowed when you put a potential across and then drawing on, on pr previous work. Some of these things were quite beautiful and quite ornate. Um, again, they were a decoration light source. And you can sort of see the, the whole evolution of, of coil lamps today, the compact fluorescent lamps, can actually be traced back to the 1850s in terms of some of the work that they were doing with, with, with these glass tubes. Um, there was considerable amount of work taking this and trying to reduce it as a market-driven activity. Where, how can we use discharge light sources for the actual lighting of interiors? And so uh, the patents on this go back into the, the 1920s looking at, at fluorescent light sources. Uh, fluorescent light sources practically started entering the, the marketplace in the 30s. And this is kind of an interesting slide in which they, they're putting tons of fluorescent lighting in. They've papered up all the windows here, complete denial of daylighting, because now they've got a very cheap um, um, available source of fluorescent. Um, so fluorescent lamps have a significant impact on the way we build and operate buildings. It was cheap, inexpensive, made in large volumes, lots of light, a long life. So we've all, we're all familiar with this. Um, how this fits in with compact fluorescent in terms of, I wanted to give a little bit of the background in terms of market and product driven, but fluorescent technology uh, really looks at both these sort of technical developments uh, with market drivers. And I'm gonna trace a little bit on this in terms of key technology attributes for fluorescent. And some of the very, very first patents on, on fluorescent um, were these sort of U-shaped lamps, and this goes back to the, the, the 20s, and um, I mean, the, the patent literature is very rich, but this was one of the, the central uh, patents from Germer, uh, very early work. But what's interesting, if you look at some of the very early technologies and look at what we're doing today with, with U-bend or compact fluorescent lamps, there's not a great deal of difference here. 